Brent Rivera is cancelled. That's it. That's the video. Two popular YouTubers happen to be at the same place and at the same time. So you know what that means? The battle of egoism begins. Whoever has the most subscribers wins. I've done so many videos like these before, but this is by far the dumbest situation. It all started when I was staying at the Shining Hotel, came out of my room, and randomly found these two girls in the hallway. What is happening? I should have been the video where she's pranking. Who? Jossie. Who are you people? What do you mean? What is your name? Brent. Brent? Yeah. Brent? Last name? Yeah. Why is he interviewing everyone? Dude, I swear to God, popular YouTubers have no chill. So introduce yourself. What's your name? Uh, I'm Brent. Brent? Who the fuck is Brent? Brent who? Who are you? Brent Rivera. I have like 25 million subscribers on YouTube. The question is, who are you? 25 million subscribers? I have literally never heard of you. I have like 2 million followers on YouTube. Everyone knows me. Dude, I'm Brent. 25 million followers. You have never. I don't know the fuck who you are. I have 25 million followers. How the fuck are you? I'm gonna fuck you up right now. My mom eats my ass. 25 million. Drew. What are you guys filming? Uh, hotel video. What is this interview, dude? Who are you guys? Are you guys hired by the Brent Rivera group? Might as well. After you're done asking them, knock on the door on the left here and see if there's a couple in there and ask them what position they're doing. Maybe. Okay, anyways, this is weird. We caught everyone off guard, apparently. We almost shit our pants. So aware that I was in the middle of a fake YouTube prank, I wanted to see if Brent would admit it because we all know his videos are fake and he steals everyone's ideas. I have a question for you guys. Do you guys hire these people? We don't know who those people are. And unsurprisingly, you they don't made a cameo in Brent's newest video. It's almost like they know each other. Do you have a question? Yeah. Do you fake your videos? No. Do you fake your videos? I've never watched Brent Rivera, but I'm pretty sure he does content for kids and all of them are skits, right? The kids know that they're skits. Do the kids not know that they're skits? Do they think? I mean, they're kids. So they're probably thinking that everything's real. I survived $50 versus $500,000 vacation. You survived a half a million dollar vacation? How did you survive that? Oh my god, I could never. These fool people nowadays going on vacation for half a mil? Oh my god, I need my bucket. <laughs> I cannot imagine going on vacation and only spending half a mil. I don't know how poor people do it, but damn, they must be really brave. No, can you fake your videos? <laughs> no. <laughs> Filming on an iPhone? Right. What does that mean? <laughs> Have fun, guys. I don't know what's going on here. Clearly, Brent didn't find my question amusing, so I walked back to my hotel room and prepared to go on my tour of the hotel. So recording on an iPhone is a bad thing? Oh. This shit is almost like $1,100. How is recording on a device that costs $1,100 like a bad thing? I mean, shit, Brent Rivera is going on vacations for half a million dollars. So recording on an iPhone must be like such a peasanty thing to do. He sees you with an iPhone that costs like $1,200 and he's like, Ew, is that one of those old technology things that only cost $1,200? Don't, stay away, ew, stay away from me. Stairs to go on our tour that's been planned multiple days prior to this and has a specific scheduled time that we need to show up for to go on it. That time is in about five minutes, so we go downstairs. Only to find... Oh god, Brent Rivera's right there. Hey, uh, go have fun with your uh, 100 subscribers, bud. 100 subscribers? Uh, you don't have, you have a directional mic on that camera? Why are they roasting everything? You need a director. What the fuck is a director? Oh my god. You know that I'm never gonna be a super popular YouTuber because I don't have a director role. Director role. Directional. Directional microphone. I have headphones that I bought on Amazon for 15 bucks. A hundred subscribers? I have two million subscribers. Who the fuck are you, Brent? No one even watches you. How many subscribers do you have? Um, nothing big, just the uh, 25 million subscribers. The egos are clashing. I'm loving this shit. It's like a whole new world, you know? I love popular YouTubers. 
Hey, we're, we're filming our thing. You yeah. film yours. Okay? Yeah. Let's yeah. not let's not be. Okay, that's reasonable. Let's not be disrespectful. Yeah. Okay. Well, you guys are shit talking the iPhone though. I don't appreciate what? the disrespect. Okay. What, what disrespect? I literally walked out of my hotel room and nearly had a heart attack. Why did you walk up to us? Like, enter our space. I I paid. I mean, it was his room though. What do you mean? Yeah, but yeah, if we were normal here, guests, that would. Whoa, be awesome. whoa, whoa. Okay. Normal guess. You think Dude. you're elevated beyond an average human being? You've ascended the human. Uh, wait, what are you? If we were normal guests, <gasps> this is what I'm talking about. These popular YouTubers. <gasps> Can I punch them? Can I like, <laughs> like, bitch, shut the fuck up? If we were normal guests like the the rest of ew dude these poor people oh my god i don't know how they do it but uh we paid two thousand dollars per room while these normal guests only paid one thousand nine hundred ninety nine i sank so low coming close to these peasants to these low life motherfuckers i'm a youtuber people know me okay i have like 10 million followers on youtube and two on instagram Oh my god. Massage, I need a massage. Where's my assistant? Yeah, Becky, I need a massage. Bitch, chill. No one gives a shit that you have 10 million followers on YouTube. I'll admit that it's cool, but like, when you act like you're above everyone else because you're popular online? No. Dude, get moving. Have fun, guys. We're not harassing. I want to say hi to my favorite YouTuber, Brett Rivera. He totally doesn't fake his videos, and it's totally awesome. Hi. Why are you having trouble speaking? I'm nervous trouble in front speaking? of my idols. What do you mean? Get out of here. All right, yeah, kick him out, bro. Anyways, great tour. We're back. Apparently, sure. Is it true you kissed your sister, Brent? I'm gonna get that. You're gonna get us kicked out? You're that powerful? I don't wanna say that. Yes, he'll let us stay. That was nice. So I start walking to my room, grateful for Brent's mercy. Brent, is that you? It was him. They were all staring at us and filming Why us are they... on, guess what, an iPhone. Why are they all staring? Look at that. There's like five different YouTubers right there. Everyone's recording like they saw an alien or some shit. Why are they all recording him like that? Bro, are you recording us? Did you guys film your video? Oh my god! You guys don't use iPhones? We can't afford a real camera. What an experience. I met Brent Rivera. Did you guys finish your video? No. Oh, we're not gonna be able to finish it next time. Dude, the battle of your YouTubers. Everyone's recording each other. At this point, there's 50 point of views here and 50 point of views here. We're not gonna miss anything. We're gonna see the dust on the corner because there's 50 different point of views. I would not be surprised if there's also a point of view where we can see this dude's balls. Someone's down there that they're not gonna show because it's YouTube, down there recording his balls. Yo, dude, I got a different point of view here. Sorry, they're gonna come and get get you guys. They're gonna kick you out. What do you mean? We paid three hundred seventy-five dollars, bro. Right? I'm sorry. I'm not as rich as you, bro. This, this is the third time you harassing mean, us. Don't harass. Whoa, 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 whoa! You recorded me. I'm recording you because you guys are coming up to. Oh, okay. Every single second. Of the... Whoa, we walked in. We're on the same floor. Right, well, he's coming now. So I mean, you guys are just gonna have. Just... Look at the guy behind you. It's like you. What do you mean? Who is that guy? Why... I have no clue. Listen, this is our personal space, and you're, you're recording inside. No, you close the door, and then you open it and whipped out the camera. Really? Because you guys are literally outside of. No, oh, no, we were. On our way to the room. Roll the clip. Alright. Is that you? See, at this point, you know that you've lost because you're talking to Brent Rivera. You're not even close on getting to Brent's level. And let's not forget the other YouTuber here, My Life as Ava, has like 10 million. Dude, you're outnumbered. Get the fuck out of there. But he doesn't need to get the fuck out of there because Brent, with his 25 million subscribers, kicked him out of the hotel. He basically called the cops on him because uh, he has more subscribers than he does, which makes sense because why would they side with the guy that only has 2 million subscribers in comparison to 25 and 10 million? So Brent finally comes out with a response video on TikTok. I don't know how we went from YouTube to TikTok. So let's see what Brent has to say. If you recently saw a viral video of two YouTubers arguing in a hotel hallway, okay. well, one of those YouTubers was me. Things quickly really? I didn't, oh my god, I didn't even see that it was Brent there because I was so blinded by the sign that said 25 million subscribers on his head. Wow, Brent was there? The context, so here's the full picture. Also, this isn't context? me defending the things that I said, but more so giving you guys my perspective of what happened that night. Okay. So right when I was about to pull a prank on my friends in a hotel, this guy came up to me yelling and accused me of faking the prank. Yelling and accusing you? What is your name? Brent. Brent? Yeah. Brent? 
Last name? Rivera. Yelling? What is your name? Frank. So I don't think he yelled at you, dude. When you don't bow down to YouTubers and say hi to them while you're on your knees, they're gonna think that you that you're yelling at them. So next time you see a YouTuber, get on your knees, motherfucker. Right. And I'm not saying all my pranks are real, but this one was. We were just minding our own. It was. <laughs> what? You're right there looking at the girls before the prank even started. They're on the left side. Well, they're on the right side. You could see them. What do you mean this prank was real? So this was really frustrating given the amount of time, energy, and money we put into these videos to make great content for you guys. And as a night- Or you're putting great money and energy on the videos that you're making because the better the videos, the more money you make. Oh. How about we put it into that perspective? He continued to approach us with his camera, saying awful things about me, my friends, and my sister. What did he say? Trying to get a rise out of me for his video. At a certain point, it bubbled up so much that I did what he wanted. I stooped down to his level, and I said something that I should not have said. Don't have fun with your uh, hundreds of subscribers, right? Later on, he came up and started filming again, this time while we were on a tour. His actions toward us and other guests on the tour caused the hotel staff, not me, to call security. He was warned several times by the hotel staff to not- Really, the hotel staff happened to call security on them because they had less subscribers than you. Yeah, that makes sense. When the staff saw that they had less subscribers than Brent, they were like, ew, we don't fuck with people under 10 million subscribers. Yeah, get them out of here. Only leave us, but other guests and hotel staff alone. And after several warnings, the hotel chose to call the police to get them escorted from the hotel. The hotel? I'm not proud of the way that I reacted at all, nor am I perfect. All I can do is be real with you guys and admit that I could have handled it by not saying anything and just walking away. I love how he made himself the victim. Oh, they were coming out to us. It was out of context and we were the victim. They were harassing us. Dude, we saw the whole video. I mean, yeah, he was a little aggressive, but this started because you were near his room and you were recording a prank in the middle of a fucking hotel where there's other people staying there. You were disturbing the people that were staying there and you're the one who's the victim? He said he was taken out of context, but you didn't show us the context that we were missing. So what exactly from the other dude's video was out of context that we missed? Yeah, I'm still waiting for that video, Brent, because you said it was taken out of context. So then the guy makes a video responding to the video that we just saw. I'm not even going to watch that thing, but uh, here's a small clip from that. Great content for you guys. And as a you don't make great content. You sexualize your friends and your sister for views in these weird love triangles. Look at this video. I didn't upload that. You did. Yeah, popular YouTubers, dude. They're, they're a different breed. Like, I'm a YouTuber, and I'm embarrassed to call myself a YouTuber when there's YouTubers out there who act like they're so fucking powerful just because they have 3, 4 million subscribers on YouTube. Anyways, I'm gonna end this video here. Please support this channel and become a member. It literally makes you look cool. You get a verified check next to your name. So why would you not want that? I feel like you'd be stupid not to want a verified check next to your name. And for the lesson of the day, stay away from popular YouTubers, especially if they have 100,000 subscribers plus, you're fucked. But if they're below that, they're definitely humble like me. Unless you're poor, then you, you can stay away from me as well. I don't fuck with poor people.